Hey guys, uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Mary Claire Haver and I am a board certified ob -GYN. And I am also a mom, a uh, wife, a mother of two beautiful, amazing uh, teenage daughters, Catherine and Madeline, and uh, the creator and founder, my other baby, of the Galveston Diet. So I'm a 50, almost 51 year old woman next month and um, uh, in the last three years, I found myself going through the changes associated with menopause. <laughs> some not so bad, some horrible. And at the same time, had some family stress and found myself for the first time in probably 10, 15 years struggling with weight gain that I could not get off. I did everything I was taught in medical school, everything I told my parents. I worked out more, I ate less, I worked out more, I ate less. I was basically starving myself and working out like a maniac and it would not come off. I became frustrated, I was obsessed, I was weighing myself every day, I was doing all the things you're not supposed to do. And then finally one day I woke up and I decided to stop being mad and be smart and be the scientist that I had been trained to be and I started reading, researching everything I could get my hands on one I was shocked by, very little is actually done for women of our age, lots for 25 year old dudes, um, athletes, as far as carbohydrates and protein and what it does to your body and nutrition and physiology and, and all of it. Like I wanted to get down, I knew that something was wrong, that you know, there's some changes associated with midlife that are going on that we are not able to function like we did as 25 year olds as far as weight gain, sleep, menopausal symptoms, all of it. So I thought, okay, what can I learn through the book? So I really dove deep. I dove deep into nutrition information. I dove, dove deep into studies. I looked at the fads and I came up with three components of a plan that I decided to experiment with on myself. And they worked amazingly well. I couldn't believe it. And it was so easy. I shared it with friends, they started doing it, they were flabbergasted by their results. Um, and then they shared it with friends, I started some Facebook groups, I started doing little trials on Facebook, here you guys try this out. And I developed a program that over about a year and a half, I tweaked, I got feedback, we tried different things, we practiced with recipes, we shared information, and with about 1,500 people over a year and a half, I created what became the Galveston Diet that it is today. Hey Jessica, how are you? Now, if those of you who have questions, just type them in at the end of this, I will go back and I'll try to answer all your questions to the best of my ability. Now, if you're out there, give me some love, give me some hearts, and let me know if you're there live. And please, please, please feel free to share this. Share this as much as possible. I wanna share the health, share everything about the Galveston Diet so that more people know about it so that they can get relief. Oh, hi, thank you, uh, for their own symptoms. So, okay, what is the Galveston Diet? Besides being my precious, precious love, and I really honestly feel like is the biggest contribution I've made to women's health. Now, I have done one million pap smears. I have delivered thousands and thousands of babies. I still deliver babies. I still give excellent women's health care, but I feel like I'm reaching more people. We now have over 8,000 people enrolled in the Galveston diet. That is 8,000 lives I have touched and changed with my own research and with my own passion. And I'm just so excited about that and I want it to keep growing. So. Galveston Diet, um, the Galveston Diet Signature Program is an online program. It's filled with research, articles, videos. I try to know that some people learn by listening, some people learn by reading. I try to hit all those things. At the end of it, you know, we have do's and don'ts. I have lots of lessons learned. I have um, different um, infographics because some people learn better that way. I feel like my gift is to teach, to take complicated medical information because it's not enough to say, Mary Claire told you so. Come give give me some hearts, guys. Hi, keep saying hi and share, 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 okay? Um, it's not enough for me to just tell you what to do. Science has shown if you understand why you're doing it, if you get an inkling of the science behind it, you are much more likely to stick to it when the trials and tribulations come, when the temptations come, if you think. It's not like Mary Claire said you need to do this. It is, I know what is gonna happen to my body if I put this in there. I know what is better for me. I know what is more healthy and I know this will work if I stick to it. So, what is it? It's three components, super easy. First one, 
intermittent fasting. And then you guys who follow me on Mary Claire Wellness, keep sharing, keep sharing. Come on guys, yay, yay, yay. And keep saying hi, give me some love. Um, and if you're joining me on the replay, just type in replay and keep those questions coming. Um, first one, intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting, intermittent fasting. It has changed so many lives in the Galveston diet. It is the thing that scared people the most. They were the most worried about, the most reluctant to try because we have all been taught, hey, Stacy, um, breakfast is the most, more, most important meal. meal. Mary Claire needs to slow down. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, breaking your fast is the most important meal of the day. It does not matter what time you do it. Breaking your fast. Stacy, I'm so happy. One week on the program, she loves it. Breaking your fast is not time dependent. It is the most important meal of the day, but it is not the thing you do first thing in the morning. It doesn't have to be. Okay, now there are ways to fast. There are many, many ways to fast. I recommend a 16-8, which is fasting for 16 hours a day continuously and then eating in an eight hour window continuously. So basically, I eat from about noon till 8 p.m. That's what works for me. That's what works for my schedule. Am I perfect every day? Of course not, I'm human. But most of the days I hit that. Some days I'm better, some days I'm worse. If I'm starving, I eat, it's not a big deal. But now that I'm adapted, I do it. And in the Galveston diet, I will go through techniques and strategies for you to ease into it. You do not ever, if you've never fasted like this, ever wanna start cold turkey. You want to ease into it. In the Galveston diet, I will walk you through it, hold your hand and teach you how to do it in a safe way and one that makes sense and one that it most likely is gonna work for you. If fasting in the morning doesn't work for you, that's okay. We'll teach you how to do it at whatever time of the day makes sense for you and your schedule, okay? So that's component one. Now, why did I pick it? You guys, the science behind the program is unbelievable. If you guys are already fasting, give me some hearts, give me some love. If you have conquered the fasting and if you love it, I wanna see it. Give me some, give me a little comment, give me a heart, give me a thumbs up, let me know, okay? And whatever you're watching this, I wanna know because if you guys, I have a post where um, it says, skip breakfast, are you crazy? There were hundreds and hundreds of comments about fasting and how it's changed people's lives. The science behind it, okay, it takes about 12 hours for your body to burn through um, the carbohydrates and the stored glycogen in your liver. So when we eat a meal, we ingest carbohydrates, our body burns through those first. That's preferential, that's the way we were developed. Hey, 68, go Stacy. Um, hey, Rebecca, thanks for the hearts. Um, so, after that, your body switches into gluconeogenesis, which is the um, generation of glucose um, from other substrates. It also starts converting fat into fatty acids um, and to ketone bodies so that your brain can use those for energy. When your brain switches to ketosis, which happens somewhere, switches to burning fatty acids for power, okay, for energy, that happens somewhere around hour 12, okay? Remember, 12 hours to burn through all those stores and what you ate, boom. You think clearer. There are multiple studies showing this. You, it's used, fasting and, and ketosis is used to treat seizure disorders in kids even. It's used to treat neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia. The anecdotal evidence of people on Galveston diet talk constantly about how much clearer they think, how much better they feel in the morning in the fasting phase. They're getting their work done. They're, you know, it's like they don't need their medication if they're ADD. It is helping you focus and zoom in that much more. The inflammation levels go down. There are multiple studies looking at blood levels just from fasting, no matter what they ate during the eating time, um, lowering so many uh, serum inflammatory markers. It's unbelievable. So if you've not tried it, I highly, highly recommend it. Galveston Diet will walk you through it. It's unbelievable. Okay, second component. I knew that inflammation was a huge component of whatever my body was going through, why I was hanging on to calories, why I was hanging on to fat. Um, I started, I did a deep, deep dive into the data about inflammation, what causes inflammation and what decreases inflammation. So guess what? I use nutrition for both of those. We know that there are things that you eat that will absolutely cause, new, and it starts in the gut, that will cause in, inflammatory changes in the gut, 
okay? And for it's not the same for everybody. There are those of us who are lactose intolerant, those of us who have sensitivities that other people don't have, okay? But there are certain things that everybody is gonna be sensitive to that we are not supposed to eat, that mostly it's the chemicals, it's the additives, it's the artificial ingredients, and it is the abundance of the simple sugars that are causing huge amounts of inflammation in our diet. On the contrary, there are lots of things that we can eat that will decrease inflammation dramatically. There are things that are packed and loaded with antioxidants and natural anti-inflammatories. Galveston diet will walk you through those one by one. The meal plans are, are catered towards that to help you to make the right choices for things that are going to not only stop giving you inflammation, but fight the inflammation in your system as well. Just doing that alone, you start the bloating goes down. It's so much better. People start releasing fluid. We see this, this massive, you know, immediate weight loss. It's mostly water um, because when you're inflamed, you have all this intracellular water that's just held on all that. And so once those levels go down, all of a sudden you get up in the middle of the night and you're ping, ping, ping. And you get up on the scale the next day and you're like, I lost three pounds. This is amazing. So, and you just feel so much better. You look better because your inflammatory levels are down all from nutrition. Okay. And the last component of the Galveston diet, um, I like to call fuel refocusing in a traditional Western diet, which is what most Americans are following. It's horrific what we're eating when you really, really think about it. And I was victim of this as well. I thought I was eating the right stuff. I was eating lots of things that were processed that I thought were good for me that I didn't understand how, you know, the, the oils that they use, the, the, synth, um, the trans fats, all of those things that are used to help with shelf life. I mean, I really don't think the manufacturers realize what was going into it. They were just trying to make things that would last longer on the shelf. So Americans would buy them and keep them on the shelf. So I did all of that. My whole top shelf was like cookies and crackers and things for the kids and goldfish and all that. And when I look and I think now, oh my God, what I fed my kids. Um, it's amazing. They even still talk to me. They still want that stuff. I actually crave it now and then. <laughs> but now we stick to whole grains. We get away from all the processed stuff. And now that, you know, in Galveston diet, I go through step by step explaining to you and refocusing your dependent, your fuel dependent. So we're taking that Western diet and we're shifting it more towards something that is anti-inflammatory, that's balanced, is in a smaller eating window that will not only get the weight off, decrease the inflammation and make you feel so much better. As we slide in, then once you reach your goal weight, we're sliding into the maintenance program, we're gonna continue this plan. And there is hard, hard data proving that it decreases cardiovascular disease, decreases stroke, decreases blood pressure, all of the things, decreases metabolic syndrome as, as well as obesity. So, oh, hi, Gina. Um, Hi, Stephanie. So the Galveston diet is amazing. You guys share, share, share. Please share the love. Please, please, please give me some hearts and some love. Um, I'm going to put a link um, in the comments below if you want to learn. It's on the Mary Claire Wellness page. It's called the Galveston diet. You can Google it. Um, it will take you there. And I have a blog. I have lots and lots of information out there for you. So um, if you want to join, you can go to www.maryclairewellness.com and you'll see a little link for, um, I think, join the program or something. And um, you can become a friend of this group. Um, and I have lots of information I throw out almost every day. You guys might get sick of me hearing it. Um, but remember, we focus on intermittent fasting, limiting your inflammation through proper nutrition, and refocusing your fuel, which is shifting away from simple carbohydrates more towards complex, healthy fats, and really, really good for you protein. I give you meal plans. I give you instructions. We also have a 30-day money-back guarantee. There's no subscription. It's a one-time fee. It's $49. Try it out. I'd love to talk to you about it. Um, the link uh, to join will be in the comments below. As soon as I get done here, I will put it on there. And I will keep uh, coming through to look for more questions. So let me go through real quick. Feel free to post your questions. Remember, keep giving me hearts and love and share, share, share this. Um, 
Hi from Boston, hi from Florida. Starting at Monday, work out five days a week, eat fairly healthy, can't lose a darn ounce. Oh my God, Patricia, you sound like me. Listen, hang in there, it's gonna be awesome. You are gonna love, love, love this program. Stacy is one weekend of the program and she loves it. Um, do you track calories and mac micro? I think she means macros. Gina, I don't track calories. I broke up with calories. I'm done, done, done with calories. I don't even look at them, I don't care. Um, they mean nothing to me. I do track macros. <laughs> um, so if you don't know what a macro is, a macronutrient is looking at percentages of protein, fat, and carbohydrates in your diet. Um, and um, I give you certain percentages. So if you're in the weight loss phase, we have percentage, different percentages than when you're in the maintenance phase, which is like the Galveston Diet for Life program, um, which is under construction. Um, if you had an ablation, is it possible to know? If you're going through menopause, if so, how? I've joined your program, I'm curious this to be happening to me. I've gone through a period of grief and weight, um, 29%. Okay, um, Connie, if you've had an ablation, so you don't have periods, um, for you guys, an endometrial ablation is a procedure that um, an apparatus is placed into the uterine cavity that basically destroys the tissue that makes blood each month. It's a great treatment for heavy bleeding. Talk to your gynecologist if you're interested. It is an awesome alternative to hysterectomy. I'm a huge fan. However, you don't know when you go through menopause as far as what's going on with your period. So, Connie, there's a super simple blood test that your doctor can do. It's called an FSH, follicular stimulating hormone, that they can draw and let you know right away where you are in the menopause things. They can also check your estrogen levels um, to see where those are at to see if that that is part of what you're going through right now. Um, okay, and let's see. Lori, lots of hearts. Gina, do you track calories? Okay, we did that. Uh, Gina, you need this. It's 56 and menopause is crazy, I agree. Um, if you wanna join, join, join. Hi from Texas. Oh, thank you, Jessica, for posting the link. From Illinois, hi, Tennessee, this is so exciting. I'm just sitting in a call room in Texas. Um, I had my first hot flash today, lost 60 pounds five years ago and can't lose any more at this age. Um, Renee, this is a great plan for you. You are gonna love it. It's probably very, very different than anything you've tried before. Give it a whirl. We're here for you. Um, there's lots of support, you know, through Mary Claire Wellness and um, people are absolutely loving the plan. If you don't love it, we have a 30 day money back guarantee. No questions asked, the end. And no subscription. Um, just started this week, Marlene, awesome. Feeling great and loving it. I've been looking at this, glad I've joined this video. You're gonna join tonight from Austin. Hi, Tammy. Um, looks like we're gonna miss the storm. Um, I feel like it's too much food. I'm not sure what you mean, Paula. Um, if, the, if you feel like the meal plans are too much food, we're only going by macros. Cut your food back some. A lot of people have not um, shifted their macros before and are feeling very, very full. That's a good thing. Believe me, that will, that will come back. Your appetite will come back. It's normal in the first two weeks to have a decrease in appetite and worry that you're not eating enough. That is normal. It will come back, I promise you. Um, thank you for the ablation info. Oh, you're welcome, Rebecca. No problem. I'm happy to do it. Hi from Orlando. Stacy. I'm heading your way at Christmas time. So we, uh, my family is going to Disney. Um, and my uh, niece, well, I call her my niece, but it's my cousin's daughter, is uh, a Disney princess dancer. And um, I'm not supposed to talk about, I can't say her name or what she plays, but it's like a princess from a very cold land with white hair. Um, and so my daughters are dying to go and see her while she's still doing that job. And so we're gonna spend, the four of us are gonna have a family Christmas in Orlando. So maybe we'll see you there. Um, Oh, Kim, you've been following me for months. You've got hypothyroidism. It's awful. Bless your heart. I feel about the weight gain. It's a vicious cycle. How will the Galveston diet help me? Okay, most hypothyroidism, Kim, is autoimmune derived. Autoimmune is an inflammation. So, um, hopefully you're on the correct amount of thyroid supplementation. Galveston diet won't do that for you, but your body is also working against you because of this autoimmune condition. By decreasing your natural inflammatory levels through nutrition, everything will work better. You might even be able to lower some of your medications. Maybe, I'm not promising anything, but you should see a dramatic difference in the way that your body responds to exercise and weight loss. Give it a try, it's totally worth it. So many cool princesses here, <laughs> so cute. Okay, everybody. Um, I will keep monitoring this for questions once I go off live. Remember, give me lots of hearts, give me lots of love. So in the Galveston diet, 
if I'm understanding correctly, the meal plans have two meals a day or is it three? So the way I set it up um, to make it kind of feasible I, I is I did two, you can eat what you want when you want. I mean, in your, in your eating window. But just because it made sense for most people, I set it up with two meals and two snacks um, a day. And the days are balanced for your macros. So not every meal is perfectly balanced. That's almost impossible to do. Life gets in the way, whatever. But I do have the macros balanced out throughout the day. I have five weeks of meal plans just to help people get started. In the beginning, when we first did Galveston Diet, there were no meal plans. We were just sharing ideas, information, recipes, um, and just making it up as we went along. But then as Galveston Diet started blowing up and we hit like 2,000 members, um, people were really, really wanting to be handheld a little bit more and told exactly what to do. So I did it. And I have a little caveat in the program that, you know, take the meal plans with a grain of salt. I don't know what you like. I don't know what your food preferences are. I don't know what you think is disgusting. Um, I tried to, you know, incorporate American taste as much as possible. Um, but I mean, again, it's it's not vegan. It's, um, you know, though we're working on some more vegan uh, friendly recipes. Um, it's not vegetarian. You know, I have had vegans and vegetarians who've done very well in the program, but it is more work, but their lives are more work. This is nothing new to them. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, Connie, let me keep going. Uh, I just started counting macros and 56 and can't seem to lose weight help. Um, so Tammy, um, in the program, I recommend an app that is amazing and it helps you count your macros and keep track. It's called Carb Manager. I love it. Um, and, um, but you know, it's more than just macros. The Galveston diet is three components and you know, I'm, I'm really, I'm really, um, I think it's very important that you do it step by step. You don't jump into all three at once. Do not jump into the meal plans right away. Master fasting first. Get that done. Then change your diet to reflect the inflammatory and anti-inflammatory components, okay? Then go for the meal plans. Do it, to, you have the rest of your life to figure this out. Everybody wants it to work right away and overnight. I'm like, take your time, take your time. The slower you master this, the slower you figure this out the more time you take, honestly, more likely long-term success that you're gonna have. Um, let's see, um, Connie, I don't know if I'm in menopause because you had the ablation. I just answered this question a little bit earlier, so you must not have been on and you haven't had a period. So Connie, again, one more time, there is a very simple blood test your gynecologist or your family medicine doctor, your nurse practitioner, whoever can do. Um, it's a hormone test. There's two that can check an estradiol level, which is your serum estrogen levels, which tank in uh, menopause. Also, there's an FSH, which is a, a stimulating hormone. It's something made in the pituitary hypothalamus that causes an increase. You know, it, it tries to make the ovaries make estrogen. And in menopause, when the ovaries die, that level goes up dramatically because it's trying to make you make it, but you just, your ovaries don't work anymore and they don't make it. So ask your doctor and they can get that done and tell you where you are. Um, two meals to snacks works out well. Are there different macro wheels for different amount of weight you want to lose? Meaning balance of carbs that lower and higher in protein. Tracy, as people are reaching their goal weights and reaching out to me, I'm helping them adjust their macros um, towards what we're doing in Galveston for life. So basically I'm like, stay on what we set in the beginning while you're in the weight loss phase and then as you're starting to reach your target weight we're going to start slowly increasing um we're going to start replacing and moving around some of those macros um but again very careful about exactly what type. a carb is not a carb is a carb they're not all equal and we're really really focusing on whole grains you know legumes um and just the really healthy complex carbohydrates fruits vegetables okay um, and you have to exercise. Yes, Rebecca, exercise is key. Um, now, do I recommend you starting this like unbelievable workout program when you first start the Galveston diet? No, it's a lot, okay? Once you're settled in the Galveston diet, once you feel like you've got it licked, then we start. You know, I'm, you should be walking in every day, but my favorite exercise is a combination of weights plus cardio, weights plus cardio. You need the weights because our bodies, as we're going through the change, are going through a natural loss of muscle mass. We have to fight it. If we don't fight it, and then when you lose your muscle mass, your basal metabolic rate goes down. And when your BM, BMR goes down, you gain weight for you and you don't know why what's happening. 
because you're not burning as many calories at rest. They're like, I'm eating, I'm doing everything the same, but if you're exercising exactly the same as you did in your 30s, you will gain weight because you're losing muscle. You have to increase your muscle. Sorry, I, um... All right, I'm gonna end this now because I have to get this. Um, all right, guys, have a great night, and I'm gonna answer these questions on, uh, I'm gonna type them out for you, okay.